remove the other one and place it here you can see take it downward if you want so with this we have a simple curve for your design so you have a simple curve of course you can uh depending on what you want to do maybe you want it like this uh, depending on the concept you have in your mind <laughs> All right, um, so today I want to show you how to use the Pixel App Max 2 to create um, wave shapes. And um, you can see the wave shape here. So I'll be showing you just how to do this using the Max 2. We'll be taking this to the default page. So um, first thing uh, you want to do is to um, set your grid. It doesn't really matter um, you come in here to set the grid. You can just um all we need is just um this so i'm gonna delete this and um delete this so um i can just do something like this do something like this you know this is just what we need but um just to be precise you can just um you know come here and just do something like this and then but then you have to delete more now and why why is this important i'm going to tell you just that so um after doing that you go to chip and then um ensure that this um hue is turned on so i'm just going to do this you see it's falling into that um the center now you can see all this point is showing telling you it's on that um, grid so um why is this important because remember we want to use the max to to create um the wave shape so um and and the way i go about it is that that actually helped me in doing this because i'm gonna move this one now this one here that's what i move first and i'm gonna use that line you see i'm placing it on, on that um part now so that is just why i create the grid and uh, advise you to do same so when i enable this um um i'm gonna move this one i enable it so you can see what i'm doing so i'm gonna move this one now after since i've touched that place i can just touch anywhere here and just you know move it this way this this way and um it's gonna so it covers this part so you see it's cover that part so this other part here this other the other node there i'm just gonna touch the main one now and then um move the other one move the other one and place it in this line here uh, any place you can see take it downward if you want so with this we have a simple curve for your design which you can uh depending on what you want to do maybe you want it like this uh, depending on the concept you have in your mind because you can also duplicate it and um create whatever concept you have in your mind that that's just how to go about it but i want to show you something so um you know like in this design see that it has um you know the curve more curve here you can add it so you can just come here uh and the the max 2 is uh, um similar to the bizarre 2 because it has a bizarre mode so if you look at the bizarre mode here so in fact what we have been doing just now is just the bizarre that is on the bizarre mode so if you know how to use a bizarre 2 you won't have a problem using the max 2 so i'm going to touch this one here and um add um, go to hard node this one here so i'm just going to hard a node here and you can you can zoom your work so you see what you're doing so based on the, what you want to do based on what you want to do the kind of wave pattern you want to create and ensure that the line is straight the node on both hand straight very very important so um you can do something like this and on what you want to create you can also add more so you can come here and add another one so you see depending on what you want to create and you're gonna have um um your wave but it, this can of course this can be better you know because you can delete you can remove can remove a node you just have to come here and click on this action delete so you can delete a node that's just how you do it creating um your wave with the max to pretty easy one thing you can do with the mouse to is quickly um set um, the grid 
okay like I said it's not really important using this place if I so and just this will do so you bring in your ship bring in your ship then you have this so um go to your max too and you know the routine take this one here and then um, recover this one then bring this So um um let us let us change the color. Okay, let us take um um black. So back to the max two. So we are going to click on copy here. So um click on copy, and you see it's here in. But we're going to take it to at. So we're gonna have something like this. So we're gonna come scroll down to this bizarre mode to move. So we're just gonna move it. Just gonna move it. And, um, okay, this seems to be nice. We're gonna press OK. Okay, we can still um, we can still move it. Alright, so um can still adjust it if you want to, but it's good enough. So next thing is to remove this part since it's not really looking nice. So what we just need to do is to bring in a ship. We're gonna do the erase major. You're just gonna have something like this. Sure it's covering where you want it to cover. Okay can just use this to bring it so once you once you have like position it accurately just merge them you merge them and you go to erase color as well and just press ok you know automatically it takes the white so you can take tolerance to 70 if you want to so we have this see we use the max to to create this abstract shape so you see it, it, this can actually work as a you know yeah, yeah I believe I've seen this in um, some logo designs or something like this so you see you can you, you can actually manipulate the max to to get out some shapes like this it's very very easy